Hi guys and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to show you how you can set up Visual Studio Code and everything that you need to install in order to build C Sharp applications with VS Code. The first thing that I want to explain is that VS Code is a text editor. It is free, it is lightweight, and if your computer is not that good but you still want to learn coding, maybe you want to follow some of my C Sharp programming videos here on YouTube, then VS Code is going to be enough for you. And in this video I will show you how you can set it up and everything that you need to install, all of the extensions, so that you can build C Sharp applications with VS Code. On the other hand, there are some other tools like Visual Studio, and Visual Studio is also free for you as a student, and Visual Studio is a lot more powerful than VS Code. Visual Studio is an IDE, which means Integrated Development Environment, and that means that it contains everything that you need to have in order to build applications, in order to debug, which means to discover and fix bugs in your applications, different diagnostic tools that are going to help you to optimize your applications, everything that you need in order to deploy your applications, and so on. So Visual Studio is a lot more powerful than VS Code, and also you can use it in order to build applications not just in C Sharp, but many other programming languages as well. But if you're just a beginner and you first want to write some code, and see if you really like it or not before you decide to invest in a better computer that is more expensive, then VS Code is going to be more than enough for you. And in this video, I will show you how you can set up everything so that you can use VS Code in order to make C Sharp applications. I make a lot of C Sharp videos here on YouTube. You can check out my C Sharp for Beginners playlist. I will link it in the description, and in those videos you are going to learn a lot of important programming concepts, and for most of those videos, VS Code is going to be enough. But for those of you who want to speed up your progress and who want to get a job as soon as possible, I also have a mentorship program, which is practical programming course where you can get help directly from me. We are going to work on real projects. And at the end of the course, you are going to get the knowledge and the certificate that you need in order to get your first job as a software developer. We have a lot of students who started just three or four months ago, and they already got their first job. And when they started, they were complete beginners. So all the questions that you have will be answered by experienced developers, people who have been coding for years, including myself. This course is paid course, so it is only for serious people who really want to work and who want to see serious results of their work. Salaries in IT industry are three times higher than any other industry, so the competition is tough and you really need to work hard and you need to be prepared if you want to stand out among other people. So if you want to use this opportunity, I'm going to leave a coupon code that you can use to get a discount when you enroll in the course. And also we have a seven day money back guarantee, which which means that if for any reason you don't like the course, you can get all of your money back, no questions asked. So this is for people who want to learn practical programming and start career as soon as possible. And then in this video, I will teach you how you can install and set up VS Code so that you can build C Sharp applications and start learning programming. The first thing that you will need is to download and install VS Code. You can do that on the official Microsoft website, please use this link. I will put it in the description so that you don't have to type it manually. Okay, so here we can download VS Code. I will click on this button here. So download for Windows. Okay, and here it is asking me to save this installer file. So click on save. Okay, and now we are waiting for the download process to finish. Okay, so download process just finished, and here I have my installer file. So now we are going to install VS Code, and the installation process is very simple, mostly next, 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 finish. So let's double click. Here I will click on run, and then I will accept these terms and agreements, and then click on next, and then next again next again and here i'm going to check these two options as well so all of these four options are checked they are going to be useful for you later when you learn more about coding so let's install them up front so select these four options and click on next okay and then here i will click on install and now we are waiting for the installation process to finish okay so the installation process is finished and now you can click on finish and it should launch Visual Studio Code. Okay, 
So here is our VS code. And if it did not start for you automatically, you can open it manually. Just click on this start icon and type Visual Studio Code and you can run it by clicking on this icon. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do is to change this light theme into dark theme. And this is completely optional. You don't have to do this if you like this theme. But for me, this is too bright and it is hurting my eyes. And I believe that for most of you, it's the same. So let's change this light theme into dark theme. Go to File and here you are going to find Preferences, Theme, Color Theme, Okay, and here we are going to select one of these dark themes. The one that I like is this one, Dark Visual Studio. So click on that. Okay, and as you can see, now it's much better. It's much easier on the eyes. So we have installed VS Code, which was the first step. The second step and the second thing that we will need is to install .NET SDK. And this is a set of tools that is developed by Microsoft. And we are going to use this set of tools in order to build C Sharp applications. So now we need to install it. You can open your Google once more and you can use this link in order to download .NET SDK. I will put this link in the description so that you don't have to retype it. Okay, so open this link. Okay, and here you need to download the latest version of .NET. Um, now, at the moment of filming this video, that is .NET 8.0. So let's download that. Click here. Okay, and then save. And now we are waiting for the download process to finish. So once it is downloaded, you should have this installation file. And now we are going to run the installation. It's going to be very easy, nothing special. So mostly next, next finish. So let's double click on this installation file. Click on run. And here click on install. And now we are waiting for the installation to finish. So the installation was successful. And here you can click close. Now, just to make sure that everything was installed successfully, I will teach you two commands that you can use in order to check that. So press on this Windows button and type CMD and open this command prompt. Okay, and here you can type the first command that is going to tell you which SDK versions you have installed on your computer. So type .NET dash dash list dash SDKs. So please give me the list of all of the SDKs that are installed. And here you can see that in my computer, I have four. If you did not install any .NET framework before, then you should have only one, the one that you have just installed. So in order to check which one you are currently using, type this command, .NET dash dash version like this, and it is going to give you the current version of .NET Framework that you are using. And that is the one that we have just installed. Okay, this is great. It means that everything was installed successfully. So now we can go back to our Visual Studio code. So here, and here we will need to install a few extensions so that we can start building C-sharp applications with VS Code. So let's install the extensions that we need. Click on View, Extensions, and here we are going to search for the extensions that we need. Please type C Sharp Dev Kit like this. And the extension that you need is this one. So C Sharp Dev Kit. Please make sure that it is official extension by Microsoft. So you will click on install for this extension. And now we are waiting for the installation process to finish. So the installation process is finished. And now we should have this extension and also a few more extensions that were installed with it. So please delete this search term. And here you should see these four extensions. Make sure that you have here in this list of installed extensions, following four extensions. You need .NET install tool, that is official extension by Microsoft, and then C Sharp extension, again, official by Microsoft, and then C Sharp dev kit, again, official by Microsoft, and then all of these other extensions that I have, those are for some other work that I'm doing and you absolutely don't need them. So you need these three, .NET install tool, C Sharp and C Sharp dev kit. And then you need one more, which was not installed for me. Maybe it was installed for you, but no problem. I will show you how you can add that one manually. 
So the one that we need to add is IntelliCode for C Sharp Dev Kit. Like this. Okay, so I will need to install this extension. And again, if you are installing it as well, if you don't have it, uh, please make sure that it is Microsoft official extension. So click on install here and it should be added. Okay, now we are waiting. So with this, all of the extensions have been installed for me. I will delete this search term once more to make sure that I have all four. So we need .NET install tool. We need C Sharp. We need C Sharp Dev Kit. And then we need IntelliCode for C Sharp Dev Kit. Make sure that you have all four of these. And if you don't have one of these, you will have to install it manually. So once you have all four of these, we can proceed and start building C Sharp applications. So let me show you how to build your first C Sharp application with VS Code. Click on View and then Command Palette, or you can press Control, Shift, and P. Okay. And here I will type .NET New Project. So select this option. Okay, now we need to wait because we are creating this for the first time. Here you will get a list of most common templates and the one that we need is console app. So you can find it in this list or you can search it manually. So console app and click on this one. And now you will be asked where you want to save this project. For me, let's say that I will save it on desktop. Okay, select folder. And now it is asking me to give the name to my application. So let's say my first VS Code console app. Okay, and hit enter. And now simply click create project. Okay, and now we are waiting for the project to be created. And here I will click yes, I trust the author because author is me. So I will click here and here on this left side, we have our project. So now I will show you how you can create a simple C Sharp application. So now the question is, where are we going to write the code? Well, let's collapse this and let's open this expander here, Solution Explorer. Okay, and here you should have this, my first VS Code console application. So under this, you should have program.cs, and that is the file where we are going to write the code. So if you double click on this program.cs, you should get a file that looks like this. So here we already have this simple hello world program. So if I hit F5, this program should start. And here it is asking me first to select the debugger. So I will click on this one, so C sharp. Okay, and I will launch this application. And now I'm waiting for this output in my console. And as you can see it, we have here, hello world, which is the result of this code that we have in our program.cs. So if I want to print something else, I will just change the text inside these quotation marks. So let's say, for example, learn practical programming at codebeautyacademy.com. And then I simply hit F5 and the application should start. Okay. And we have our output here. And then let's say, for example, that you want to ask the user to enter his input. Let's see how we can do that. Let's first declare a variable of type string and let's call it name. Okay. And then what I want to do is I want to say console dot right line. And I want to say here, please enter your name like this. And then inside this name variable, I want to read whatever the user has typed into the console. So console.readline, please make sure that you are using correct capital or lowercase letters. So console.readline. And then after the user has entered his name, I will simply say, again, console.writeline, and here I will say, hello, and let's also add the name that the user has entered, like this. So now I will simply hit F5, and our application should start. So here it says, please enter your name. So you are going to enter your name in this prompt here. So here I will enter 
my name that is Saldina like this and if I press enter as you can see the application responds with hello Saldina okay so I hope that you have enjoyed this video all of the links for all the tools that we have installed in this video will be in the description I will prepare everything for you uh, so now you can start learning C sharp and you can start watching my C sharp for beginners playlist and learn how to actually build C sharp applications and if you want to learn practical programming and if you want to start a career as a software developer then I highly recommend to join my practical programming course where you are going to get help from experienced mentors and you are going to optimize your progress so that you can start your career as soon as possible. You can find a link in the description and also a special discount code that you can use in order to save some money. And remember, we have a seven day money back guarantee, which means after you try out the course and you don't like it for any reason, you can get all of your money back. No questions asked from our side. So I hope to see you soon. I hope that you will join Code Beauty Academy and that you will join our community of successful developers that is just one click away and also now you can start watching my C Sharp for Beginners playlist for most of those videos and for most of those concepts VS Code is going to be enough and then for some videos you will still need uh, Visual Studio you will still need the entire IDE. So if you have any questions, you can leave those in the comment section, or if you want me to film video about a specific topic, again, you can leave that idea for me in the comment section. And then if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up so that I know to film more videos like this one. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you in another video. Bye.